Today, I want to remind you that your life is more. I'm going to do this by reading to you a verse from the great sermon that Jesus preached that we know as the Sermon on the Mount. I'm going to read to you Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, which says this. Again, these are the words of Jesus. Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Previously, in his great Sermon on the Mount, Jesus challenged his listeners to make a decision between two treasures, two visions, and two masters. In each of these decisions, it is clear that it is better to choose a heavenly treasure a focused vision, and to choose God as master. Through it all, Jesus made us think about the superiority of God's kingdom. And here, Jesus brought it to an important application. Because the kingdom of God is so greatly superior to our earthly pursuits, it deserves our close attention. If we allow them the everyday cares of our life will crowd out the focus that we should have upon God and on his kingdom. For this reason, Jesus said, again in Matthew 6, 25, do not worry about your life. We should not get tangled up in worrying about the things of this world because our life is much more than those things. It is true that we can be unfaithful to God through covetousness, as Jesus described in some previous words in this sermon, yet we can also be unfaithful to God through worry and through excessive concern about the things of this world. Notice how powerfully Jesus expressed this. He included what you will eat, what you will drink, and what you will put on, those three concerns, what we will eat, drink, and wear, he described what many people in this world today live for. It's important to notice what Jesus told us to avoid. He said, do not worry. Now, there is a genuine difference between a godly sense of responsibility and an ungodly, untrusting worry. However, an ungodly, untrusting sense of worry usually pretends to be just taking responsibility. We also take notice of the example of Jesus. We never have any evidence that Jesus was ever worried about what he would eat or drink or wear. He concerned himself with doing his Father's will, and the Father concerned himself with taking care of Jesus. Remember, that Jesus did not tell us to never be concerned. We are to be concerned, but with the right things, the ultimate issues of life. And then we leave the management and the worry over material things with our Heavenly Father. Jesus very powerfully emphasized the point when he wrote this, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. The worry Jesus spoke of reduces human life to the concerns of what we put in our belly and wear on our back. It lowers men and women to the level of animals who are only concerned with their physical needs. The important point for us to understand is this. Your life is more and you have eternal matters to pursue. So today, find a way to make your father's business your business.